no one played more minutes for Ball State soccer in 2017 than sophomore Yela Ziswiler. But by the end of her junior season, the Swiss saw just 17 minutes in the Mid-American Conference Final. I came in freshman and sophomore year and I played pretty much all games. So it was really different for me. And I couldn't really understand why, like how it could change. Ball State's been really stout defensively in recent years. And Zisweiler became victim of a numbers game. You still need to know you have to work hard, hard in every practice. And even though you don't play, at least you make the other, your teammates better. And she did. The Cardinals were the max number two defense. And then she got to work in the offseason. I did a lot more running, fitness. She comes out and she crushes the fitness test and almost ends up running it alone because other people couldn't quite do it and she just kind of goes about her business. I also made sure that I played soccer on a team this year more, so I made sure I also get my touches in. And come game one this fall, Yalo was back in the Cardinals' top 11, despite an even deeper back line. So we all knew there's only two center backs and the chances of center backs getting subbed in and out once they're in is really small. She's played um, at center back for us, she plays an outside back for us. I think she can play really anywhere across the back line, left side, right side. If I don't get the starting or a spot as center back, I need to work hard and also show off as an outside back. Building off all those lessons learned a year ago. I grew because I wasn't playing last year and that made me for sure a stronger person because I also saw the other side of it. She's always been fairly strong though. That dates back to her youth soccer days in Switzerland. I played on guys team until I was 15. The first three years I was the only girl on the team and it was kind of really hard because every time you show up for a game the other team was just made fun of you. But like two years after I started two years later we actually were four girls in a team and we we all were in the back line and so like the guys we played against they were just like that's a joke but once they started to see us play and they might lose, like they lost against us, they actually took us serious and were like, well, yeah, they can actually also play soccer. That's what we call the paradigm shift that would lay the foundation for a really big piece of the Ball State back line we know today. The great thing about Yale is that she is unique to our team and is great for our team. As much as you could say a consummate professional, um, that's what she is um, and the maturity that she, again, the maturity poise that she brings is phenomenal.